Hi, in this video, I'm going to discuss about integers. Integer is a whole number which has a positive or a negative sign before it. Zero is also considered as an integer, but it is neither positive nor a negative number. Let's look at the first question. For each of the following situations, represent the two opposite changes using a positive number and a negative number. As we can see that the submarine is 250 meter below sea level. The sea level in this diagram is 0 meter. We can represent the location of the submarine as negative 250 meter. And the aeroplane is 1000 meter above sea level. Therefore, it is positive 1000 meter. Next, represent the opposite changes using a positive integer or a negative integer. As we can see, the diagram is making a profit of 2000 ringgit. Whenever you see profit, it is always positive, and loss is negative. So a profit of 2,000 ringgit is positive 2,000 ringgit and a loss of 500 ringgit is negative 500 ringgit. Let's carry on to the next question. In the following table, mark tick for the numbers which are integers and mark cross for the numbers which are non-integers. As we know, integers are whole number and zero. Therefore, it does not include decimals or fraction. Let's look at the first question. 3 over 4. 3 over 4 is a fraction. Therefore, it is not an integer. Negative 24. Yes, it is an integer. It is a negative integer. 35 is positive 35 it is an integer 6.7 is decimals therefore it is not an integer negative 29 yes it is whole number 900 yes because it is also a whole number negative 4.34 it is a negative decimal therefore mark cross for that 72 is a whole number. Yes, it is an integer. Negative 1 over 2. No. Because it is a negative fraction. 0. Yes. It is neither negative nor positive. Copy the diagram on the right. Select integers from the following list of numbers and then write them in the diagram. So we just have to look at whole numbers. Uh, let's look at the first one. 0 0.25, no, it's a decimal. 1 over 3 is a fraction, so no. 48, yes, it's a whole number. Negative 12, yes, it is also a whole number. Negative 2.8, no, it is a negative decimal. Negative 6, yes, yes, it is a whole number. 458, yes, 59, yes, 0, 0 is also a whole number. Negative 2 over 7, wrong, it is a fraction. Next, for each of the following, determine and mark the positions of the given integers on the number line. First, you have, first we have to draw a number line like this. Then we just find which one is the smallest integer and the largest integer. So in this, in this list of number, obviously 5 is the positive 5 is the largest number. Therefore, you just write 5 at the end of this number line. And negative 5 is the smallest integer in this list of numbers. The next one is negative 3, the second smallest, and 1. For each of the following, determine and mark the positions of the given integers on a number line. First, we have to find the smallest integer. 
obviously it's negative 10 so negative 10 you just put at the end of this number line second is negative 8 negative 9 negative 8 and then 0 2 is bigger than 0 so we put 0 first then 2 will be at the end at the other end of this number line let's move on to the next question complete each of the following number lines first we have to find the sequence for this number line obviously there is a negative 4 and then negative 8 and negative 12 for this number line so between negative 12 and negative 4 you just put negative 8 and then negative 4 plus 4 is 0 so just put 0 here and 0 plus 4 is 4 4 plus 8 uh, 4 plus 4 is 8 if you want to find the sequence of this number line you just take maybe 4 minus negative 4 and you'll get 8 then 8 divided by 2 you'll get that uh, this number sequence is adding the previous number to 4 now let's look at b first we have to find the difference between the integers so we take negative 24 minus negative 32 it will become negative 24 plus 32 so if you type it on your calculator you will get 8 so the difference between these two number is 8 if you want to find the number after negative 24 you will have to add 8 so negative 24 plus 8 you will get negative 16 and negative 32 minus 8 you will get negative 40 and so on negative 40 minus 8 and become negative 48 negative 48 minus 8 and you will and you will get negative 56 compare and arrange negative 4 3 1 negative 6 5 0 and negative 2 in ascending order first we have to compare the numbers in this list we have to find the smallest number which is negative 6 and the second smallest number is negative 4 so your answer will be negative 6 and negative 4 followed by negative 2 then 0 1 3 and 5 Compare and arrange negative 5, negative 3, 3, 4, negative 4, 2, negative 1 in descending order. So the question wants us to arrange it in a descending order. We have to find the largest number in this list of numbers first. The largest will be 4 and the second largest will be 3 the largest number is 4 followed by 3 and 2 then negative 1 negative 3 negative 4 and negative 5 next if positive 20 represents 20 meter above sea level, then negative 20 represents. So you just write something opposite the question. It, it will represent 20 meter below sea level. B. If positive 90 represents a movement of 90 meter to the north, then negative 90 represents okay north is the opposite of north will be south so you just write then negative 20, uh, 90 represents a movement 
of 90 meter to the south I'm going to further explain about the direction north is at the top and south is the opposite direction of north and here is east and west C. If positive 800 represents 800 ringgit being credited into a savings account then 800 ringgit being debited into a savings account is represented as something opposite of positive 800 is negative 800. D. If positive 1000 represents a profit of 1000 ringgit, then a loss of 1000 ringgit is represented as loss is always negative, so negative 1000. Question number 4. Determine whether each of the following numbers is an integer. So we find the numbers that are non-integer. Non-integer means decimals of fraction. So in this list of number, 3.9 is the only non-integer number. Because it is a decimal. So your answer will be negative 14, 12, negative 26, 85, 0, negative 2. Next, question number 5. Compare and arrange the following values of temperature in the order beginning from the coldest temperature. The coldest temperature is the smallest number. So, in this list of number, negative 4 Celsius is the coldest, followed by negative 3 Celsius, then 1 degree Celsius, 2 degree Celsius, and 4 degree Celsius. Result! Next, we are going to learn how to add and subtract integers. First, we have to know the law before we learn how to add and subtract so when positive and a positive symbol is together it will remain positive and if negative and negative together it will become positive positive and negative together it will become negative so in conclusion like symbols will become positive and unlike symbols will become negative now that we learned the rules already, we will be able to add and subtract integers. A. 6 plus positive 2. So we apply rule number 1. Positive and positive, it will remain positive. So basically, it's 6 plus 2 equal to 8. Negative 4 plus negative 3. So we have to apply rule number 3 which is positive and negative positive and negative together it will become negative so negative 4 minus 3 and the answer will be negative 7 C 3 minus positive 2 positive and negative together will become negative so the answer will be 1 because 3 minus 2 equal to 1. Now we are going to learn how to multiply integers. So multiplication is the same. We apply the same rules. Negative integer times negative is positive. Positive times positive is positive. But if positive times negative, it will become negative. So like symbols, positive, unlike symbols, negative. Let's look at the first question. Negative 6 times negative 3. As you can see, negative times negative. Like symbols, your answer will be positive. So 6, negative 6 times neg negative 3 is 18. The answer is positive. Second question, negative 7 times 2. 
So negative times positive is negative. So your answer will be negative. 7 times 2, 14. Negative 14 will be your answer. 4 times negative 8. 4 is positive. 8 is negative. Negative 8. So unlike symbols will become negative. 4 times 8 is 32. Your answer will be negative 32.